Hi, my name is Martin Richard. I work for the Canadian Space Agency on a payload called BCAT-C1, which stands for Binary Colloidal Alloy Test. C1 stands for Canadian 1. The BCAT experiment is led by the mission manager at the Canadian Space Agency. His name is uh, Charles Gauthier and the mission scientist representing the PI at all times with me uh, is Lucino Cohen. And um, we work from the Canadian Space Agency near Montreal in Canada. Uh, the room there is called PTOC, Payload Telescience Operations Center. And we interface directly with the POIC in Huntsville, Alabama. And when the crew has uh, questions about the experiment, they talk to Huntsville, but we hear what they say, and we uh, respond directly to POIC, and they voice the answer back to the crew. Uh, sometimes when it gets complicated and the crew has more difficult questions to answer, they will uh, enable us on space to ground so we can talk directly to the crew. Uh, it happens a few times here and there, but usually we interface directly with the uh, Hosk in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. What we do in BCAT is we study the behavior of colloidal samples. What does that mean? Uh, colloid is a um, fluid that has particles in it that we may not see. Um, everyday products are colloidal, like uh, toothpaste, uh, shaving cream, detergent, uh, milk is even a colloid. And the researchers want to find ways to extend the shelf life of some products and also uh, understand the behavior, the behavior of the particles inside these products. And probably for many of them, improve the manufacturing of those products. The particles that are in our fluids uh, would sediment with gravity. They would go down the cuvettes um, and this would not be representative of a long time, uh, a long term exposition to real life. So, an example uh, if you have a fabric softener in your uh, laundry room, it will take months before the products sediment, and uh, it will take months before you see the effect of time on it, but it will have an effect. Time will have an effect on your product. In space, we can simulate that with bigger particles in the, in the fluids, and that's over 10 days approximately, instead of months. We can simulate aging of a product over 10 days. So that's what we try to uh, simulate and track. The experiment consists of mixing the sample and following the evolution of the sample over 10 days by taking uh, photographs of the sample uh, every hour or so and we see the evolution of the crystals in them. The, actually samples phase separate like oil and water and then crystals start to form. And the challenge in uh, this experiment is to obtain the optimal uh, lighting orientation. We have a camera, the module itself, and a flash unit in the back. And we have to illuminate the sample at the right angle so we can see the crystals. Otherwise, the sample looks clear. It's, it looks like water. So you need an, uh, the proper angle, plus minus five degrees, approximately, to see the crystals. And then the PI can determine the behavior of the sample over those, uh, those 10 days. So crew members, the operations consist of mixing the sample, setting the camera and the flash. And once this is all set, it runs for 10 days automatically on the camera intervalometer, and we get the data after.